I mean, like, come on. Especially ladies, they can agree with me here. Come on, ladies. Please hear me what I'm about to say and tell me if you don't agree. You agree or you don't. Hello, everyone. By the way, it's Ishmael N. And I welcome you to today's video. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something very important. How many times have you been in a position? Because I want to tell you right now, people are breaking up with because, oh my God. How many times have you been in a position where you build with somebody, you treasure them, you picture a marriage and a future with them. They break your heart in a very hateful manner and you wish you never met that person. Or for that matter, you meet somebody new, you fall in love again, you, will, you become glad and you'll be like, oh, I'm glad it ended with the previous part person. Let me tell you something. When it comes to dating before marriage, anything goes. You can always pull out. You can always do what you want. So long as you don't do it from an evil, with evil motives. And what do I mean? You date someone knowing that you're, not, you're never serious about them. You just want to benefit whatever you want to benefit from them. That is wickedness. God will hear that. Because you don't know the prayer that they made before God, before coming together with you. They prayed, Lord, this is the one. Lord, you got what I'm saying? So when you play with your heart, that's why you get punished. But other than that, if you were having no bad motives and all, you just ended up realizing this person has a bad character. God is a just God. He knows the heart of that person. He knows what really turned you off. He knows that you did it from a good heart for thinking for yourself and being careful. So in that case, they may cry, but it is likely that nothing bad is going to happen. But then again, there is a prayer that you make. There are someone that God knows is for you. And he knows those people are wasting each other's time. That is why when you make such a prayer, even before you know the person directly, they are breaking up because it's yours. It's you and it's yours. It's your marriage. You get what I'm saying? That person, God knows, yo, you guys are wasting time. God knows the intent of every person's heart. I can go out today and meet a woman. Let me tell you, there's a good chance you will say yes, but God knows the depth of her heart and he knows what's going to happen. It is likely to happen tomorrow. She will change her mind and not because I did anything wrong, but her motives were never pure. So does God worry? Does God bother so much to prevent that from happening altogether or to separate me from her so that I can meet somebody I can last with for my rest of my life? He has no problem. Hence, I want to decree together with you. If you are not yet married or someone is trying to steal your spouse and you're currently married, let everybody that is coming between you and your marital life or your marital, your spouse, God-given spouse, may they break up right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.